<coughs> to to get some of the highlights and the the dark crevices and and so forth in the uh, in the painting. I'll put some windows in here so that a little darker for uh, for windows. Uh, there's a, a vertical slash where I could put my darks here and there. And I don't like this area here, so I'm going to take it out and make it dark with some post in the front. I think that'll work out out nicer. And the opportunity to check the perspective of my of my uh, roof on the boat. And so I'm using the uh, behind space uh, to, to, to do that with the same color. Putting water down first and then putting color into the water on the base and the back of the boat is good. And then I thought I wanted just a little spark of, of color so I put in some of this brilliant reddish orange of chalk. And uh, that really is carrying the painting. So now I've got some yellow ochre chart there, and I'm going to go back over and uh, do a little bit more uh, painting. And also get some st stripes coming down that green roof. Now, in this shape, you want to break it up into windows. And, and you know, windows don't all have to be just rectangles. They can be uh, two rectangles on top of each other, and they can be together. And they don't have to be dark, and that's why I'm making that just a little bit lighter. That's up there, and you notice the wall is already in. That's on the edge of the painting. Okay, now, as a close-up, uh, I'm using my calligraphy brush, and I'm using a dark color, and I'm starting to draw in some of the infinite little details that might be here. And I think it's always a good idea to have a wet brush handy so that you can uh, fade them out if you uh, if you wish to. Um, I'm not going to do that here. I'm just going back on and just having fun, just putting in these little dark marks here and there and see what happens. Just looking at the detail on the front of the boat, and, and I think that's uh, for a uh, hanger, a uh, hanger, uh, not a hanger, a uh, anchor. And having that come down like that, that's, there we go. And then there is a, there is a, uh, the, the inside of that, there's a horizontal line that I put in. Okay, you can see where I'm just kind of putzing here and there. This is where, this is the fun part. I always enjoy this part because you don't want to overboard with it and sometimes I do. Uh, just be careful on where you, uh, where you put these and how many. And if you don't want the edge to show up to, uh, too much, then put another value similar to that edge and it'll, uh, it'll put it back in the, uh, into the background. You can see the nice pattern that I have of lights and darks in the building uh, where it's not just strained one, one color. Uh, this painting has won an award in a, uh, a show. After, uh, after I got it done, I entered it and uh, it took an award. Now there's the diagonal line I wanted to show because you can see inside of the cabin because of that, uh, of that window. And we're going to put a few little shady sides to the uh, apparatus that kept to the net and you, you look for uh, not the actual item but you look for the aesthetic quality of where my lights and darks and dry brush is and even uh, some boos uh, add to the character of the uh, of the painting so you don't want to cover everything perfectly 
Okay, I'm going to put that stem right up there, a little dark. But that's that right hour thing that this uh, boat has on. I think if you um, do a painting like this, be careful on how much misket you put in. Uh, you don't have to misk everything because you can see white paint uh, suffices anyway. Now what I'm going to do is here's the chalk that I have, that pastel, uh, that I could use any colors from that particular array of color. And I'm picking up sort of a yellow, a light yellow, and I'm going around to pick up some highlights that uh, you know was lost possibly in the transition of uh, putting all that water uh, color down and so this is uh, a way of uh, of doing it I think I'm being a little bit too picky you know just a little bit there um, but it, it's sort of bringing some of that yellow light from the right down to the uh, to, to the left uh, but both of them are really quite equal on each side, and I don't want them to be that equal. And so I'm going to uh, think of taking a color and painting that uh, a darker a darker color. So I'm going to be mixing up sort of a purplish gray, and I'm going over that entire area, but not trying to mix everything together. I'm trying to leave some of that color that shows through and then putting chalk right through it. And now we've got a little better uh, dark mid-value mid size uh, of a shadow through there. And where on this side is much, uh, much lighter as I'm looking. Just decide where you want the little highlights. And also, uh, that's a design element too. You've got to put those highlights in large, middle, and small, not just all one size. And I put a little bit of a highlight on that uh, rack there, and I got some more rigging that's holding the uh, bolts like anchor lines. And uh, a little bit more white down in here. Maybe put some right down in that just to pick up the spark a little bit. Give that contrast and the, the, then, then the painting will start to uh, to sing to you. And right on the edge of that uh, roof, I'm just putting in some light whites. And then I've got these watercolor crayons. And, you know, they are really nice. They work just as well as the pastels. Um, they, uh, they do smudge when you uh, put water on them, as well does the uh, pastel. And so it's just kind of fun just to uh, play with them and see if one can have a little different effect. And one nice thing about them, you can go ahead and uh, wet them down. Now these are detailed strokes that you can see that I've done in the, uh, in the painting to show the freedom that, um, that I have, that I'm really uh, wanting to get. You can see a little bit of the marker there, the tree, the, uh, the routine of the, uh, of the uh, shacks behind. Then as we come back, you start to see all of it coming together. Well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video and that you will go to my website www.frankzeller and see some of my other work and examples of other videos that are on the website. Thank you.